Do you remember the beast that shattered your family? Or did you choose to forget? You turned your back on our world and got lost in your own. Meanwhile, the predator only grew stronger. for it. This is not the time nor place to end this story. This time, it was best to run and live to fight another day. Let us hope you're ready for it when it comes. The predator isn't the only threat. The wildlife started to mutate when the end of days began, and the tree of life started to die. Oil sludges everywhere. To most, it only means death, but some have adapted to the new environment and changed with it. Evolution has its ways.
look, an emergency box from the once was. A rare sight. That pipe looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. Whoa! It's time to find a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it. The Morks produce biomatter in their multi-organ that they shed under distress. Blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being when absorbed, including you. Toxanol built vessels called arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. Just a few moves left. Make them count. There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxanol Corporation would make its mark on the world. The sound... It's going to take a bit of puzzling to short-circuit the door. It's coming from behind that door. A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. Quite a shock to the system. Let's try that again. There you go. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. That's the last of them. Let's talk to the wheeled one before backup arrives.
wun ko wut muk bechin to le drea ko kim ho kim ho ko chai he to wo ya molu wando had it Asks if you were tired as The genetic evolution that occurred after the apocalypse that his friend Gizmo is working on a mecton and needs help defeating the jumbo puff at the end of the west route. Wiz is still repairing his octopod to confront the Merc Puff that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the northwest route. Noko has tamed the Majut and is preparing to take on the Hoof Puff at the end of the east route. Finally, Goop is almost done with the Goo Glide. A machine able to ride the waves of the surf all the way out to the Porky Puff at the end of the route to the southeast. Regardless, You're getting the hang of it. Quickest way out is through the roof where they came in, and the rope looks strong enough to climb. Know that the tree of life is dying. Its days are numbered. Without help, it can't endure the environmental change and assault from the world eaters. A signpost maps it out for the cartographically challenged. Let's see. that chewed off out of date's leg. You'll need a hat trick to bring that down. Look, a survivor. Glad to see someone made it out alive.
Wewawam. Hey, Mark, pæne linde, pæne linde. Det er sit daglok. Annie. Så lukk og talen, ja, ja, og suf. That's a spark! What's that? Not as much as it always meant. And you're... Regardless of who you choose, it won't be easy. The Myriad's conviction to stop the World Eaters began when the Leviathans rose from the depths of the surf. Siding with the Myriad's movement for wholeness in a fragmented world might seem like the logical thing to do, but is it the right thing? One thing's certain, though. Destiny arrives all the same. The Jagni tribe only ever had one conviction, to bring balance to the world by wiping out the weak. They believe a cleansing is necessary to restore the world and want to let the world eaters bring down the tree of life. But siding with Jagni isn't necessarily a bad thing. Fate will find a way. <laughs> Anna? It's unusual that natural tunnels like this still exist. Most of them got flooded. <laughs> 